Hello everyone. You are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations. Root x plus y is equal to 14 and x plus root y is equal to 28. We need to find all possible values of x and y. So, let's start. Let's call this equation equation 1 and this equation equation 2. And we subtract from equation 1 equation 2. Left hand side of equation 1 is uh, root x plus y minus left hand side of equation 2 is uh, x plus root y is equal to right hand side of equation 1 is 14 minus right hand side of equation 2 is 28. Now we remove brackets, this will become root x plus y minus x minus root y is equal to 14 minus 28 negative 14. Now we combine these two terms uh, root x and uh, negative root y and we combine these two terms uh, negative x and uh, plus y. So this will become square root of x minus square root of y minus x plus y is equal to negative 14. x root x minus root y. We use negative sign before these two terms. So, this will become negative times x minus y is equal to negative 14. Now, this x, this x can be written as a root x squared and this y can be written as, this y can be written as a root y squared. So, this equation will become root x minus root y minus root x squared minus root y squared is equal to negative 14. Now, here we have difference of uh, two squares. So, by using this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This will become root x minus root y minus root x plus root y times root x minus root y and we use parenthesis here to make this a group is equal to negative 14. Now, this expression root x minus root y, root x minus root y is common. So, we factor out this uh, root x minus root y and uh, in bracket left uh, in bracket left from here 1 minus this expression root x plus root y is equal to negative 14. Next root x minus root y times 1 negative times root x will become negative root x. Negative times plus root y will become negative root y is equal to negative 14. Now, from here we multiply both sides by negative 1. Left hand side we multiply by negative 1. So, this expression will become root x minus root y 
times when we multiply this expression by negative 1 negative expressions will become positive and this positive 1 will become negative so we write this as a root x plus root y minus 1 is equal to negative 14 times negative 1 will become positive 14 now we have uh, two factors at left hand side the first factor is uh, root x minus root y in the second factor is uh, root x plus root y minus 1 and this uh, 14 can be factorized as uh, 1 times 14 14 times 1 2 times 7 and 7 times 2 now we add these two equations so this the negative root y will be cancelled out with this positive root y and this 1 times root x plus 1 times root x will become 2 times root x minus 1 is equal to 1 plus 14 15 and 14 plus 1 15 2 plus 7 9 and 7 plus 2 9 now we add 1 to both sides so this negative 1 will be cancelled out with this positive 1 and uh, here left uh, 2 times root x is equal to 16 plus 1 16 and this 15 plus 1 is also 16 and 9 plus 1 10 and this 9 plus 1 is also 10 now we divide both sides by 2 So, this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and from here we get 2 values of root x, root x is equal to 8 and root x is equal to 5. If we square both sides of this equation, we get the value of x is equal to 64 and if we square both sides of this equation, then we get the value of x is equal to 25 now to find the values of y we recall equation 1 equation 1 is root x plus y is equal to 14 equation 1 is root x plus y is equal to 14 so when x is equal to 64 then this will become square root of 64 plus y is equal to 14 the square root of 64 is 8 plus y is equal to 14 if you subtract 8 from both sides then we get the value of y is equal to 6 when x is equal to 25 then this equation will become root 25 plus y is equal to 14 and root 25 is 5 plus y is equal to 14 and we subtract 5 from both sides then we get the value of y is equal to 9 so when x is equal to 64 then y is equal to 6 and when x is equal to 25 then y is equal to 9 so from here we get uh, two pairs of solutions x comma y is equal to 64 comma 6 
and the second pair is 25 comma 9. Now let's verify these values. To verify we use the both equations. Equation 1 is uh, root x plus uh, y is equal to 14. In the second equation is uh, x plus uh, root y is equal to 28. First we verify this pair. So this will become root 64 plus uh, 6 is equal to 14 and root 64 is 8 plus 6 is equal to 14. This is true. Now we put a value of x is 64 in here. So this will become 64 plus root value of y is 6. Is it equal to 28? And 6 plus root 6 cannot be equal to 28. So, this solution will be rejected. Now, we verify this pair. So, this will become root 25 plus 9. Is it equal to 14? And the square root of 25 is 5 plus 9 is equal to 14. This is true. And this will become 25 plus uh, root 9 is it equal to 28 25 plus uh, square root of 9 is 3 is equal to 28 so this is true means uh, this pair 25 comma 9 is a valid solution